Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Massive LSA regulation changes coming. President signs FAA reauthorization. And Sikorsky S-97 Raider exceeds 200 knots. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's October 8th and this is Airborne Unlimited. Recent messaging from EAA has confirmed that massive changes are coming soon to an LSA near you. Initial reports indicate that the maximum weight criteria for a light sport aircraft will increase after a January rulemaking effort, followed by an NPRM, due to cooperative efforts by EAA and the FAA. Insiders report that the max weight limit will nearly triple to 3,600 pounds and that some form of maximum speed limit will increase to approximately 150 miles per hour. The effort includes non-complex four-seat aircraft and puts aircraft like the iconic Cessna 172 Skyhawk in a whole new category. If that wasn't enough to shake things up, we've also had cooperation that an announcement of a renewal of the ADSB $500 rebate program that expired in February is in the offing. While much of this is all over the map, the basic data signals a major game change in terms of GA manufacturing and operations, and the potential for a renaissance in GA, if the market responds to what would be simpler, cheaper aircraft that are less cumbersome to operate. We're awaiting callbacks from some of the major players in this effort, and we'll fill you in as soon as we have more detail. After the break, Lockheed Martin reveals New Human Lunar Lander Concept Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude and slip. With integral backup battery, Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news by at aero newsnet With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Lockheed Martin has revealed the company's crewed lunar lander concept. Lockheed Martin's crewed lunar lander concept shows how to send astronauts to the surface of the moon for sustainable exploration. The lander is a single-stage, fully reusable system. In its initial configuration, the lander would accommodate a crew of four and 2,000 pounds of cargo payload on the surface for up to two weeks before returning to the gateway without refueling on the surface. A fire broke out in a hangar at New River Valley Airport in Dublin, Virginia a week ago, which destroyed at least two and most likely four of the seven airplanes being stored in the building. Other aircraft that were in the hangar at the time of the fire are being assessed for heat and smoke damage. The fire broke out about 11.45 a.m. on Monday. Several fire departments responded to the blaze, which took about 45 minutes to extinguish. NASA and NOAA have appointed a board to investigate an instrument anomaly aboard the Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellite 17 weather satellite currently in orbit. During post-launch testing of the satellite's advanced baseline imager instrument, it was discovered that the instrument's infrared detectors cannot be maintained at the required operating temperatures under certain seasonal and orbital conditions, 
resulting in a loss of approximately 3% of the instrument's availability over the course of a year. Moody Aviation has selected Frasca International to provide three reconfigurable advanced aviation training devices for use at their flight training facility at Fells Field in Spokane, Washington. Their three new AATDs will replace three earlier Frasca units. Each new AATD will be equipped with Frasca Simplicity iOS Instructor Station and True Vision Visual System with 210 degree by 10 projected display system. Each AATD will model the flight and system characteristics of the Cessna 172R. Cessna R-182, and the Cessna U-206G. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. It's a done deal. The President of the United States has signed the long-term FAA reauthorization that was finally approved by both the House and the Senate over the past several days. Not everyone is happy, but most of the truly onerous aspects put forth in the last few years, especially the push for ATC privatization, have gone by the wayside for now. The FAA itself was one of the first to weigh in, stating the FAA's reauthorization delivers a safer, more secure, and efficient aviation system to the traveling public and helps fuel economic growth and competitiveness. Creating a stronger infrastructure and maintaining American leadership in innovation are priorities for President Trump and Transportation Secretary Chow. Today's signing of the five-year bill authorizes the reliable, predictable funding the FAA needs to invest in these critical priorities. We applaud the House and the Senate in crafting a bipartisan bill, and with its signing, the FAA is ready to get to work on the bill's key provisions. After these messages, Sikorsky S-97 Raider exceeds 200 knots. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. Welcome back. The Sikorsky S-97 Raider light tactical prototype helicopter is advancing rapidly through its flight test schedule recently exceeding 200 knots at the Sikorsky Development Flight Center. Sikorsky continues to demonstrate the application of its X-2 technology as the company prepares its proposal for the U.S. Army's future attack reconnaissance aircraft competition. Raider incorporates the latest advances in fly-by-wire flight controls, vehicle management systems, and systems integration. The suite of X-2 technologies enables the aircraft to operate at high speeds while maintaining the low speed handling qualities and maneuverability of conventional single main rotor helicopters. It's exciting to achieve these high speeds with X-2 technology, says a Corsi experimental test pilot Bill Fell, a retired U.S. Army pilot. It's undeniably important for the warfighter to get to the mission fast, and once they get there, X-2 technology provides the critical handling qualities that make the aircraft survivable, lethal, and agile. Sikorsky X-2 technology changes the way we fly and fight. We can get there fast, be more effective while on the scene, and we can get out fast. Sikorsky's X-2 technology at the heart of the Raider helicopter is scalable to a variety of military missions, including light assault, light attack, on reconnaissance, close air support, combat search and rescue, and unmanned applications. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. 
If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe. And do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. We'll see you tomorrow.